To review the disbursement of 500 billion Naira Development Bank of Nigeria loan to six geopolitical zones resurfaced at the Senate, with lawmakers resolving that the matter will be reinvestigated. Efforts to bring back the controversial motion by sponsor Ali Undemes suffered a setback last Wednesday as the Senate President Gatsul Akbabio stood it down and advised the sponsor to represent it. Undeme had queried the rationale behind the stepping down, noting that the fund was unevenly shared among states. During plenary, Senator Undeme, however, raised the motion again, prompting in a divided debate. While some lawmakers insisted that the disbursement was not favorable to some regions, others reminded them that the loan had criteria to be met. They have what they call participating financial institutions, that is microfinance banks. So far, the bank is using about 64 of them, out of which 60 are in Lagos. Four only are spread around the other 35 states in the country. And I want to also tell my colleagues that the other developmental uh, uh, finance institutions that they call the FI include Bank of Industry, Bank of um, Agriculture, Nigeria Export Finance and Import Bank, uh, Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, National Economic Reconstruction Fund, Nigeria Infrastructure Development Bank, and uh, NISA. And I want to tell my colleagues that the ownership of the Developmental Bank, uh, Development Bank of Nigeria specifically, is owned by 60% 60, 60 of it is owned by the Federal Government of Nigeria. Mr. President, the institution that is involved here is a reputable institution. It's an institution that have laws, rules, and principles that is guiding their day-to-day -day activities. That if Senator Ali Ndume felt so bad about this. Now let's go ahead and set up another ad hoc committee to give it a second look. And looking at all these criteria that has been set or put in place by this development bank and see if the region or all the regions in this country has been given a fair hearing in terms of access to this loan. It depends on the amount you've been able, if you raise one billion naira, only one billion counterparts will be given for you to be able to assess that facility. So this was the reason, and Lagos was able to, to, to give that. In fact, the area we are supposed to look at now is the criteria. But as I'm talking to you, 66% of these funds have been paid back. And the bank is only basing their, 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 their criteria on the basis that you'll be able to repay this loan so that it will be an evolving loan. So this is basically the issue. Not met by some geopolitical zones. With the further explanation that the bank in question is owned by various international agencies, including the IFC, and it's not a wholly owned Nigerian bank. So, it's business. They may want to set their own criteria. And so the criteria for the states that are outside Lagos may not be able to be the criteria. And somebody also said that they were very interested in the collateral. And so if the collateral is located where they, they feel they cannot reach, if there was a breach, they may not accept. But still, I think we should look into the issue. Why I think we should look into the issue is that there may be recommendations here that can help us in future. At the end, when, the, when the, there's a review or even the report that has been available now by the, the, the clerk of the Senate, the report of the former ad hoc committee that was set up. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.